Welcome to episode two of Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. We're gonna get started here quickly, but first let's go around the table, introduce yourself, your character, and everyone leveled to level two, big jump. So uh, everyone tell us if anything interesting happened with your character. Brian, go ahead. I'm Brian, I play Kairos the Red. Uh, he is a paladin of Hor, the Doombringer, and uh, level two brought some fun things. Uh, Hor has blessed me with spell casting, so I get to do that now. Sweet. Uh, after the uh, scuffles he had at level one, learning his shield didn't give him very much advantage at all, he is going to be relying on his uh, his skill with big heavy weapons and will be searching out a maul or something similar to use with his uh, great weapon fighting style. Excellent. Dave. Hey guys, my name's Dave. I'm playing a Barbarian Okorsh Jerry Okurth. Um, the only difference, there wasn't that much happening with the Barbarian going to level 2. I got uh, Reckless Attack and Danger Sense. So if I'm about to walk into a trap, I can um, sense it. So I, I would have an advantage on a Dero um, for traps that uh, are based on spells, or traps and spells. And then Reckless Attack just gives me advantage on melee, but then I have uh, disadvantage on... Uh, yeah, then people who attack me have advantage. So that's the only change for a Barbarian going to... Cool. Gary. I'm Gary, playing Jarvis Silverspear, going to level two. The wizard decided to go transmutation, uh, which at second level will temporarily allow me to alter items into that are non-magical from one substance uh, into another. Uh, one cubic feet for every ten minutes I spend. Cool. Roz. What's going on, everybody? My name is Roz, and I'll be playing Rollercoast, uh, the Ranger. I didn't get a whole lot at level two, other than some first-level spells. I picked up Cure Wounds and Hunter's Mark, and that was really all I got. I look forward to you forgetting to use Hunter's Mark. That's <laughs> usually what happens with Rangers. Uh, I think you get what? What level do you get your um, specialization? Is it third? Three. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, previously on the first session we played, in the first session we played, uh, the gang was recruited to by the Flaming Fist to go hunt down Cultus of the Dead 3, if you're familiar with Baldur's Gate and or Baldur's Gate games, video games, you might know who they are. And uh, the city was in the midst of a refugee crisis. The gates were closed to people coming in and to people exiting. Uh, the duke in charge of the Flaming Fist went to El Terrell on a diplomatic mission and hasn't returned. And there's been rumors of horrible, horrible things happening in El Terrell, like the city disappearing or some craziness like that uh and uh the why am i blanking on what's his face is uh the guy who told you to go to the elf song inn captain zaj zaj that's it uh he told you to go to the elf song inn and look for a person named tarina who could give you information on the cultists and you guys did that you heard a little song from the ghostly elf for which the inn is named uh, about El Terrell and found Tarina who asked you to stay with her and if she gets into a scuffle because people might be looking for her who want her dead to help defeat them and she will give you all the information that she has and that happened people came in strong people pirates one of them was named Deadeye and uh, our paladin went down our our uh, wizard went Ranger. down 
Ranger? No, it wasn't me. Oh, yeah. it was Ranger. Okay. Uh, and, um, yeah, there's some close calls there, but eventually they were victorious. <laughs> and uh, Tarina lived up to her end of the bargain. And the owner of the Elf Song Tavern gave you some free board, room and board. And that's where we left off. We're going to start the next morning. Uh, you guys got some free breakfast. We'll open the session. You guys are eating breakfast. Downstairs, and you were told last session by Tarina uh, that northwest of here is a public bathhouse with a walled garden, frolicking nymphs, nymphs carved into its front gates. Followers of the Dead Three have been seen coming and going from the bathhouse. And she's been told there's a secret door inside that leads to a dungeon. That's where the cultist killers are hiding. So presumably that will be where the group is heading. What do you guys want to do? You're sitting at the table. You're all rested up. Quick question. Cool. Do we know anything about the Dead Three in terms of like attire, clothing attire, anything like that? Do they all wear anything specific? Yeah, they usually wear very angsty goth type bullshit. Um, uh, but it's like not as cool as some goth attire. Like Fist of Bane has a right uh, handprint on all their stuff. Uh, let's see, what else? Ball is. The, some of their followers usually has like a red handkerchief and you know Ball is a god of murder or was a god of murder so little background on the dead three uh, if you haven't played Baldur's Gate they were adventurers just like you guys and wanted to find a path to godhood they were successful and then tried to uh, steal I think the tablets of fate yeah tablets of fate from the over god Ao uh, who is more powerful than all the gods and uh, shockingly that Ao the over god didn't take kindly to that and made all the gods walk the realm no longer um, immortal uh, so these three essentially were made uh, mortal and but they had some contingencies for that including just having a shit ton of kids uh, and yeah what else is there a reason you want to know oh, there's the attire hold on hello that's good mm -hmm. art let me just put this up there. In case I need to use... I'm more, mainly asking in case I use Disguise Self or anything. Sure. Uh, well... I don't know that you would get this good of a... image, but you have a general idea of, like, their symbols. But this, this art in the book is too good, so what I'm going to do is... put it in the chat uh, uh, uh. upload mm. did it upload it yep. did gotcha and uh yeah so the uh merkel's on the left uh the follower of merkel's on the left they're usually into undead stuff. Uh, Bane is in the middle. Balls on the right. Beautiful. So. Might come in handy later. Well, while we're still at breakfast, I uh, reach into my pouch and I pull out my healing potion and I slide it across the table to Jarvis and I just say, hold on to this. Do it again if you need to. Ah, Thanks. thank you. You're very welcome. Glad I was able to uh, not let you die there. 
Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, speaking of, I need to run a quick errand uh, before we head to that bathhouse. Hope you don't mind. I'll be right back. And I would like to um, go to the nearest Flaming Fist barracks or outpost. I've served with the Flaming Fist, so I imagine I know where I could requisition a mall. Yeah. Uh, from them. Yeah. You can get a mall. They, <laughs> they give you some shit about not paying for it as everyone is given and gives shit to each other. Because uh, mm -hmm. that just seems like something the Flaming... With a name like Flaming Fist, it sounds like they're those type of like... Oh, for sure. Like frater fraternity type? I don't know. That's the feeling I get. Yeah, to be clear, I don't go to, like, ask. I go to, to more like demand. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> because that, that's the that's the dynamic. Yeah. Uh, you get but it. I'm able to get them all. <laughs> yeah. You get them Sweet. all. It's not pretty. It's been used before, but you get them all. That's fine. Uh, Thank you much. That was my errand. Can I, I go run and grab another quiver of arrows? Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and mark that off your gold, the quiver. It should be in D and D Beyond. If you, it should tell you what, how much they cost. Anything else? Negative on my part. Excellent. All right. So I assume go. you guys want to head to the bathhouse. Let's find this bathhouse. Nymphs on the doors, right? That's what we're looking for? Yep, northwest. To the northwest. Okay. I'm just looking up the map real quick. Got it. Come on, where is it? Oh! Wow. Alright. Alright, cool. So, you get some directions to the bathhouse, not that hard to find. Uh, the bathhouse is a one-story stuccoed building with stained glass windows and clay roof tiles. Ten-foot tall walls enclose a large courtyard outside the southeast corner of the building. The closed wooden doors to the courtyard are engraved with images of what you were told you were looking for. Smiling nymphs dancing and frolicking in water. Uh, just looks like a normal business. Uh, yeah. Uh, I are the doors closed? They're closed. I knock on the door. You don't hear anything, but you someone is leaving the bathhouse as you finish knocking, and so yeah, you can push your way in. Uh, the courtyard. There's a courtyard you're staring into now. The L-shaped courtyard features a trimmed lawn, nicely manicured shrubbery. The yard is decorated with white marble benches and stone fountains, each in the form of a smiling nymph tipping a jug that spills water into a circular stone basin. Head on in. And that's just the courtyard, right? There's a there's a separate full yeah. building? Yep. Okay. Is there people? Yeah. Not in the courtyard. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I definitely press forward. Okay. Uh, you see a few people in here. Uh, it looks like there's security, three security, just kind of bored standing watch. Uh, the inside, read aloud text, goes something like this. The walls of this 20-foot-high pillared chamber are adorned with frescoes of bathing royalty. Natural light streams through stained glass windows, creating colorful patterns 
on the tiles of polished blue marble that cover the floor. Three shallow sunken pools contain scintillating perfume-scented water. White marble benches bearing stacks of dry towels are situated near the pools, each of which comes equipped with a pair of brass faucets. There's so much detail about the plumbing of this place, it made me laugh when I first <laughs> read it. Like, it's... I just imagined a player who's super into plumbing engineering and design asking the dm about this and the dm what what kind of faucet handles yeah. are they also like is this like a reverse flush uh plunger <laughs> dipper uh and is instead it? of the dm saying something like that the dm can be like well technically this is a roman style blob there's just a lot of detail yeah uh yeah jerry just Jerry just looks at the um, stained glass window and he's like, he's like, yeah, man, when I, when uh, when my adventuring days are over, that's what I'm gonna have in my in my my place. I'm gonna get that. I know a guy <laughs> who's gonna gonna hook that up. I know I know the guy who did these windows, and um, his cousin is uh, is a friend of mine. So, well, Jerry, you should really get them to look into getting these uh, brass faucets as well. They look really nice. Oh, yeah, those are those are nice too. Yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all this. You guys are gonna. You guys are like invited any time like, to chill. just just reminisce about the old days. This is when we're really old. Like not now, but when I get this place. But I'm going to get it eventually. I I believe it. I believe it. And I start walking towards the back, and I just like I grab a towel on the way in full armor as <laughs> as you're doing that uh a a uh person exits the southwestern room which appears to be a massage room you see a table in there and uh the person exiting with a towel looks extremely relaxed and Following right behind is an androgynous looking human who sees you all and comes up to you and asks you, are you here for a massage? Uh, yes. No, for a soak, personally. But I think my friend said yes, so <laughs> he's your man. You... Your audio just slowed down so much. You sounded like perfectly drunk. Oh, I thought you drunk. were joking. I thought you were being like a very uh, <laughs> shy character. <laughs> nope. I'm a straight shooter. That's so funny. Um, so you said you were breaking up again. So you said... Um, um, so I said I was just going, I'm just here for a soak. But my friend said yes. So it's all him. Which... Some somebody chimed up and said yes. <laughs> that was me. Sorry, my Discord ah. <laughs> uh, is acting up. My speed test is fine, but Discord's being dumb. Anyway, so yeah, I said yes. Jarvis. Jar Jarvis. Jarvis. No, he has he has no uh, he has no sh armor or anything to take off. So. It's quicker quicker. Uh, yeah, uh, I think the doffing time for someone like a paladin is like ten minutes with heavy for heavy armor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, he goes, my name is Jabaz, uh, right this way, and, uh, Jabaz takes you into the massage room, and it will be one gold for a massage. And, uh, I, while I'm on my way over there, I actually, uh, cast message, and I whisper to, uh... God, I'm already forgetting names. Uh, uh, Kairos. Sorry. I whispered at that. I'm going check in here to see if I can find uh, any of the three of the... Um, wow, I'm drawing, dead three. Drawing a blank today. Um, so I whisper to him, hey, I'm just going to check out this room. I'll, I'll keep in touch with you. But I don't think anything's going on. And in response, I just cough very loudly. <laughs> 
Excellent. Was that distinguishable at all? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Noted. Man, Discord is being terrible tonight. Uh, you, I think on Discord you can actually change... Uh, right now it looks like the US West 244 server is a really high ping. Yeah, um, I see that. How do you change maybe it? Maybe try switch... I thought it was just me, so I'm glad it's not my Wi-Fi. Uh, do you know how to change it, or am I about to go into the settings? Uh, I haven't done it in a long time. I forget. Hacking. Accessing mainframe. Googling. Googling. <laughs> you can't just click the drop-down in the top right and change How do How do I get there? One? Step one. Open the server settings. After opening the drop-down menu, select server settings. Click the overview tab. Then, click the Change button next to Server. Then select your server region. Connections? I wasn't... Uh, uh, server set general... <laughs> or, uh, sorry. Server, manage server, uh, server settings, and overview tab. We're probably going to have to... Dr it's probably going to drop us when we do this, right? Uh, sometimes it actually gracefully migrates you. So. Server settings, there we go. And then uh, server overview region. and change server. Um, so I believe these are all AWS regions. So uh, if we're on West, if you can get a different availability zone, if it lets you, if not, maybe change to South. Let's try South. Be Texans today. Okay. How's everybody? Still here. Uh, uh it looks Frozen. like 71 milliseconds going down, 16 milliseconds. Think Sounds have better. Off. Yeah. All right. You're not, you're not looking like this anymore yeah. on my screen. Good. I've bitched at Discord for shit like this a couple times but anyways it's neither here nor there um so one massage uh one soaker Roz and Jerry what are you up to what other uh what else they got in this fine establishment other than the masseuse and the bath so they got uh, three pools, each with different perfumed scents coming out of them, and there's only, it's rather early in the day, so uh, I will also go for, I uh, don't want to get my fur wet. Did you guys just like drop? Yeah, it glitched yeah. Out. It freaked out, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So you don't want to get your fur wet, you said. Yeah, I don't want to get the fur wet, so I will go for a massage. Okay, so the no the north room, you there's a sign in calligraphied uh, carving that uh, is an it's another massage room, and. Uh, the door is cracked open. So you approach, and uh, there's one of these guards I described earlier. Uh, standing guard looking bored. And uh, when you knock, you hear the voice of a female human, and she says, Come in. I will go in. And you uh, see a similar room. This one's a little bit bigger. Uh, she says, I am Kermala. <laughs> These fucking names in the Forgotten Realms. Beautiful name. <laughs> realms. There's some doozies coming up. Some <laughs> real doozies. Like, I like to make up weird names because it makes me laugh. But, like, the fact that the Forgotten Realms mostly is doing it as... This is serious. This is serious fantasy shit. Um, so, Kermala 
It's with a Q too. Uh, Kermala. <laughs> Kermala. Um. That's more upsetting. Kermala says, uh, "Yes, of course. It's one gold, and uh, are you, do you happen to be adventurers? Your group?" She's looking out behind you, and uh, does she look curious or concerned? Um, she looks curious. Okay, then I will say I am an adventurer, yes. Okay, um, that's fine. Uh, okay, and, uh, so your massage, she leaves, same thing happens with Jabaz, they leave just like IRL. They leave, let you get undressed and lay on the table, and they knock and come back in, uh, and they chat both of you up. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna roleplay both chats, but they're gonna be the same content. It's just gonna be, uh, how long have you been in the city? Feel free to respond to either of you. Uh, basically my whole adult life. Is this your first time here at the, uh, bathhouse? Yes. Yes. You just decided to come... Uh, on a whim? I'm actually, I'm new into the city, and I, I just, you know, I heard about this place, and I wanted to give it a check it out. Okay. Uh, and... Up until recently, I would uh, not have been able to afford such a fine establishment. Oh, yes, things I... are going good in life. I've heard uh, adventuring can be very lucrative, very dangerous, but very lucrative. And when uh, she was asking you about what brought you to the bathhouse uh make a make a insight check both of you boy 12 i got to go do it in the channel my d20 is not where i left it do, do, do. Yeah, I pulled out my dice for this game. I've got my whole hunkin' dice tower sitting on my lap. Sick. Uh, <laughs> oh. Roll. This is not Slack, Gary. Oh, oh, yeah. One. Um, <laughs> plus, plus two, so three. <laughs> so, Jarvis, you notice nothing. Uh, Roz, you notice... Uh, Roller coast. Roller coast. Uh, that's gonna be an issue because they both start with R's, but I'll <laughs> figure it out. Um, Kermala's voice gets noticeably. There's a nervous undertone there when she's asking you about uh, what brought you there. I'm gonna try to start watching her and see if she like looks at any certain parts of the room like nervously. And uh, while she's talking, I'm I'm also looking. Is there any um, are there any doors or any other any other areas to get to other than the door we came through? So, in your room, the southwestern room, Jarvis, uh, you're not seeing anything. Uh, it's a slightly smaller room. You wouldn't know this. It's a smaller room than the northwestern room, but I I will say, Rollercos, make a perception check. Ooh, that's good. 19. There's something weird about that wall, and you also notice um, that Kermala keeps going back to that wall and lighting more candles, um, and she goes, sometimes a, sometimes a weird stench comes up. Uh, it's just bothering. And then while all this is going on Jerry what did you say you were doing I didn't say I was doing anything um Jerry's just kind of like milling about and he's trying to find someone to talk to well there's three guards and there's two people in the pools um oh yeah he definitely he goes and 
he takes his uh, he takes his, his boots off and he uh, and he puts his feet in the pool next to the the two people that are in the pool and he starts chatting him up. And uh, she's like, she's like, yeah, my venturing get friends are getting massages right now. You know, I'm gonna get a massage too um, when they're done. I'm just gonna hang out here. I've got a little bit of uh, the arthritis in my feet. It's gonna cool them off. What do you guys, you guys come here a lot? So you see an older man and a, uh, they might be a uh, husband and wife couple, and uh, the man goes, "How old are you?" That's a great question. <laughs> I am. I think I made Jerry 40. Is that a half or It seems kind of early to be getting stiff feet. Is that a half orc thing? Well, I played a lot of sports growing up, and, um, you know, I was just, just kind of like sailed too close to the sun, you know what I'm saying? Just just played a little too hard just they're a little bit you know old before their time so like how do you guys keep the keep the spark in your relationship going oh uh, well uh, we're not married we're just uh, see each other every once in a while so that gives us enough spark and the woman starts playfully splashing you with water while this is going on uh <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of awkward. You guys are just you guys are you guys are so in love. It's great to see. And uh the the older man just kind of gets quiet and she uh she uh, definitely says, "Yeah, yeah, we're so in love. Like we're going to run off together." And uh the older man doesn't say anything. But well, well I'm Jerry. We're I'm I'm Marty. This is this is Shorty. The man. Do they have any shorty. drinks in this bathhouse? You uh, guys wanna? Uh, I don't know if they do, but you know, you could ask one of those guards, I guess. Jerry, Jerry just slurps up some of the sure. some of the pool water water, and then he 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 shoots it at one of the guards. He's like, "Hey, guard! Hey!" Hey, we need some drinks over here. No spitting water. There's the person who makes drinks doesn't start until later in the day. Hey, it's all it's all in good fun, man. Just just uh, it's it's fine. We'll just we'll just hang here until later. Yeah, let's get a pre-party here in the pool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and then are we'll... you are you like part time? Are you with the are you with the flaming fist? Or are you? What's yeah. your deal, man? My deal is I'm working here and I've got a bad hangover. So can you just like enjoy your soak? <laughs> Jerry gets out of the pool. He's like, oh man, I got the best cure for a hangover, man. Dude, just look. And he he grabs the guy by the head, and he just like forces his he forces his head like down between his knees like just stay just Knock stay in this off. position right here you gotta get all the blood going down to your head oh my god and that's that's how that's it's gonna clear you up it's gonna get all the blood flowing it's so gonna... are you gonna like try to hold it are we really gonna fucking <laughs> 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 he basically he basically just just weasels it this well, if he resists at all, Jerry will like, will like let go. But if he's just like so, and the guy like, goes, surprised. "Knock it off! Don't you touch me!" Oh, oh nobody sorry, touches me. Man. Oh yeah, it's fine. Oh, sorry, man. You don't uh, know what I do. You don't know what I've seen. What? Is, what have you seen? <laughs> just walks off. Oh he man. Goes back to. And you he just hear it, the... you hear the the guard just talking to himself. Oh man, that guy, 
the guy's lucky. He just walks to one of the other guards, and the other guard just looks at him, just kind of like, it's just gonna take a walk. And yeah, and Jerry like kind of walks away, but he's he's like going back into the pool. He's like, yeah, just like eat a eat a boiled couple boiled eggs or something, man. It works too. <laughs> Basically, all the the three guards are they look similarly hungover, um, but uh, yeah. Um, switching back to Jarvis and Rolikos. Uh As soon as I have a moment where uh, the woman has turned around, um, I'm going to cast message quietly to uh, and whisper. Sorry. I'm going to whisper message to uh, Kairos in the direction that I believe he went and say, uh, there's, I'm not seeing anything here. Are you having any luck? And uh, you can respond to me by the way. Tyros. Well, I didn't actually take off my armor, and so I just wanted to go look around back there. Um, so I've been looking around back there, especially taking advantage of Jerry uh, distracting the guards so thoroughly. Um, I, I feel like I can get a good look around, but meta-knowledge. No meta Do I find anything in the soaking area? Um, make a... Are you just looking around or are you I'm like looking around and at first discreetly and then once there's a distraction less discreetly like knocking on the walls and looking for indications of some sort of secret door sure. access panel Make something like that. an investigation check or perception check both garbage two or if it's investigation one <laughs> you don't notice anything. Uh, Rollercoast when the the kerfuffle between Jerry and and uh, the guard happens. Obviously, you can hear it. Uh, and uh, the Kermala comes up to you and says, "You know what? I'm just gonna. I can't. I'm just gonna take a chance. Uh, so, are you are you like looking for?" work or what are you what do you do just tell me what you're doing here because there's some weird shit going on here man like uh yes we are here for work if you promise not to go tell anybody about that no no but, I'm, what's going on I, I i just there's this place is run by some really bad people in 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 mortlock just just there tells me not to come Come by at night, and w something bad will happen if if we stay too too long into the night. And I've got like that's why they have these mean guards out here. And a couple of times I've seen people enter at night when I'm leaving that are dressed in like real weird clothing. One of them has those like a handprint. Isn't that one of the dead three? Isn't that isn't that yeah. like a sign of the dead three? Yeah, that's not good news. Do they ever? Do, do you know a if there's like print? a secret entrance <coughs> or I a don't... back door? Well, I'll tell you this. I don't know if there's a secret entrance, but there is some sewage smell coming from that back corner. I keep having to light candles, and it's terrible. It is horrible. So if I were to guess, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I didn't go to an adventuring school, but it's. That's where I would say it's coming from. J uh, What's his freaking name? Uh, Jabaz might know. Jabaz, Jabaz has been here longer than me, but um, Jabaz also might be l working for whoever, Mortlock, and oh, I hate talking to Mortlock. He's so, he's huge and he's got a weird face. I don't know how that happened, but it, I feel bad, but at the same time, it's scary to look at him. An owner, or who is Mortlock in relations to this establishment? Van Thamper, like you know, Duke Van Thamper, and you know that is one of the one of the council that rules the city. And she Jabaz, Jabaz works for him, for Van Thamper. No, Mortlock. Uh oh, okay. Mortlock Van Thamper. Uh, you know that. Uh, what's her name? One second. Uh, 
Okay. What's Kermala's last name? Is it Kermala Harris? Uh, sure. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> it is now. Uh, so Mort Locke Van Thamper, and you know, du everyone knows Duke the Lamra Van Thamper. You heard some people talking about it, roller coasts in the Elf Song Tavern while you guys were were waiting, guarding Tarina. Um, Duke the Lamra Van Thamper is uh, the matriarch of the Van Thamper family and spent years, started with nothing, spent years repairing the city's ancient sewer system and uh, became the, the uh, master of drains and underways in the city, which is a, a title apparently, and uh, eventually made her way into the Council of Four. So Mortlock uh, is a son and uh, Carmilla is, I just can't stop laughing at that. Um, yeah, I mean, you're the adventurer, so why don't you check that corner of the room where all the candles are, if, if, if like, I mean, are, I'll give you your gold back. I'm, I don't, like, I'm kind of, now that I said this, I think I'm just gonna pretend I'm sick and just go home for the day because now I'm scared. And what's the, the, the uh, loud noise of Jerry and the guard dies down, her voice goes, goes down into like a whisper. And uh, yeah, what would you like to do, Rolikos? I'm gonna ask her to like stay in this room for a moment so they think I'm still getting worked on and then reclothe myself and then go check out the corner. Okay, she agrees, she says, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll just uh, turn away so you can get dressed. Uh, usually, obviously, I exit, but I'll just turn away. Uh... Awesome. Then I take however long it takes to put leather armor on. One minute. And meanwhile, as well, uh, after I hear back from Kairos that he didn't find anything, uh, I'm also going to cast message in the general direction of uh, Rollercoast okay. and ask the same question. Uh, and not, or basically, uh, not finding anything in my room, having any luck, uh, you can reply to this message. We got a weird wall with a stench in here. Are you able to look? And I'm whispering this, because, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out right now. Give me a sec. Jabaz okay. is obviously pretty close to you, and he's. Are you talking? To me, sir, I can't tell. You're very quiet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I talk to myself. Oh, okay. Just random thoughts in my head. Nothing nothing scary. Not a problem. I just wasn't sure uh, if you were talking to me. Uh, okay. And Rolokos, you get dressed. You check out that wall and make a perception check. Right on the button. That's what you needed. Uh, nice. You feel a a, uh, a push-in pocket door, and the stench, like, you don't need to check. As you get closer to that door, the smell gets stronger, and sure enough, the door pushes in and slides into a pocket, and uh, Kermala starts freaking out when she sees you do that she's like okay can i go can i go now like this yeah, is dude, sh sh just act natural <sighs> what is that what does that even mean act natural <laughs> don't act panicked okay it's, uh, that's not something look at my you say face. do you see how calm i am look this calm i mean okay I'm just gonna. She starts looking around. She grabs a bunch of towels and she's. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm. I'm uh. uh but just gonna get more towels. That's what I'm gonna do. And 
she... If if any of my friends are out there and alone, send them in. If you have the chance. What am, what am I? What am I supposed to say to them? Just like, hey, go into the massage room. That's only supposed to be for one person. And uh, the, the, like, what, what, uh, I'm not right, an scratch adventurer. Scratch that. Scratch that. Act natural. Go get some towels. I'm just gonna. I think I'm actually getting sick now. Oh, just freaking it's out. It's the smell. It's the <laughs> smell. I know. It's bad over here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she exits with her towels. And takes a deep breath before exiting, and you guys see, uh, other than Jarvis. I would like to look out of, is it a door, or like a curtain hanging? It's a door. What, what is the, uh, it's a door. If I want to, like, look outside and see if I can see the guards just while she's, like, exiting, just peering out of the door. You see the guards on the other side of the room, which is, like, 30, 40 feet away. Um, you don't see the one that you was covering the door when you entered, uh, which you could assume was the noise. Uh, and, uh, let's see. How noticeable was, uh, Kramala as she exited? How did, What's your was passive she, uh, perception? Garbage. Um, or insight. Ten. Uh, 12 for insight. You think she's pretty nervous, although you have no baseline for her because she was inside sure. the massage room. I mean, if she like, if she was holding down puking, she was like, she was actually she's starting breathing to heavier. Uh, she okay. does see you looking at her, and um, she uh, smiles like, like super awkwardly and starts walking over to you with a new towel and is like sir are you going to, are you going your friends in the massage room you found he told me to tell you uh, do you are you gonna get in the pool anytime soon if if you need a towel here's this he said to go in there because there's a secret door and get the others and oh, i can't do this i'm leaving she ha <laughs> she shoves a towel into your hand doesn't like wait to see if you grab it just says okay. uh, and just walks away and she starts hyperventilating and is starting to dry heave and uh passes you jerry while she's dry heaving and the guards start... oh my god i know a great i know a great remedy for that <laughs> she just ignores you and just goes <laughs> and just starts walking towards the door and she stops one of the guards and starts talking to them what do you do Kairos um, I don't take the towel from her I just let it fall um, and I just sneer visibly look at the guards to see if they're uh, looking at me or anything and I answer her anyway even though she walks away and just say don't like perfume and start walking towards the uh, door by way of Jerry, so that as I'm walking past Jerry, who surely is still talking in a constant stream of consciousness, um, I just say, like, Jerry, focus. And then start heading towards the uh, Jerry grabs door. his boots and he tells the couple in the pool, like, oh, sorry, guys, we got to go <coughs> do some adventuring stuff. We're, like, trying to find the, the dead three or something. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to, probably not supposed to tell you guys that. So oh, I'm my just, God. Forget Forget that I forget that I said that. So yeah, we're just gonna go. Just gonna go over here. I'm like three steps away, and I stop dead in my tracks, and just. And the, <laughs> the guy, the guy, the older man has like a horrified look on his face, and the girl is just like not phased at all, and she goes, "Well, I haven't I haven't talked to Shorty about this, but if you're not doing anything later, you know, we're kind of you know open-minded. So if you swing by here, we'll be here." Uh, okay, great, cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what that means, but yeah, okay. See you guys later. Okay, bye. And the guy goes, oh, Marty, let's... I think I named her Marty. Marty, let's... I think we should be going. Uh, and they get out, and... Um, yeah, the guards are currently distracted by uh, Kermala dry heaving 
and them trying to convince her that she needs to finish her shift and that they're going to tell the boss and what do you do? So after I hear back from Rollercoast that there's a hidden room, uh, the next chance I get, I use that to uh, quietly cast Prestidigitation and create a foul smell that smells like I shit myself. And Jabaz goes, uh, Sir, would you like a, a moment? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so <laughs> terribly sorry. Um, yeah, can, can I have a moment to clean myself up? Absolutely. Sir, please? sir yeah, uh, thank you so if you much. wouldn't mind throwing anything dirty in the corner uh and jabaz walks out and he starts mumbling to him you hear him start mumbling to himself as he's leaving and then as he closes the door (laughs) you guys outside uh here uh just like what kind of i've never seen someone who can't (laughs) use the bathroom properly (laughs) what just you what I didn't even... It was just his back. And then he sees Kermala freaking out over towards the front door and gets more interested in that, starts walking over to the four people in the front door, which is the two guards, Kermala and Jabaz. And, yeah, what do you do? Um, So I get dressed, and while I'm doing so, I cast message back to Rollercoast again. Uh, I'm, I'm free of the massages. I'm in the room by myself. Any luck? Uh, the wall opened up into a door. Get over here. I'm on my... Do I know exactly where he's at? Uh, do I know the exact room? I know the direction he went, but do I need to ask for more specifics? Uh, I know? You see the sign on the door, and you see... Okay, cool. uh, you see me already walking in. <laughs> yeah. And, I uh, had... Yeah, okay. You I guys head in that direction. Head in. Uh... Oh, what should I make you? I'm going to roll for these guys first. Let's just see what they get, and then I'll have you guys roll if need be. <laughs> Dice are hot again, fellas. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's a nat 20 on on perception. Uh, Someone sees. <laughs> One of the guards peels off as uh, you hustle in there, Jarvis and Kairos. You're already in. Or who who went in first? Who? How would you guys have entered the I room? I would have gotten there first. Okay. I imagine. And uh, so Jerry and he, the a guard peels off and says, "Excuse me, what do you? You can't go in there." It's, it's for one person only, sir, saying to you, Jarvis. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, uh, if you didn't hear, I had an accident in my massage. I'm just looking for a place to clean up. Are you n- just have your robe on, or are you naked? or? No, I put my robe back on. Okay, whatever your, your wizard yeah. garb yeah. is. Uh, yeah, I, I gathered all of my stuff, and I'm wearing it. Well, that's not the bathroom... Are you, what do you, and Jabaz says, no, no, you don't want to deal with that. Trust me. And the night, the uh, guard is just like, very hungover and just like, I don't want to deal with anything. Just turns back. Uh, make a deception check, though. What I can do. 15? That's good enough. Uh, I suggest you guys buy one of these Descent into Avernus boxes because you guys are going to need them if all the dice are that good. <laughs> these rolls. Um, yeah, so you make it in the room and Rolikos has a door open and... Uh, I'm already tearing a towel into sheets to wrap around our noses. Oh, okay. Uh, perfect. So, yeah, the... It stinks. It does. Um, there's a stairwell that goes down, uh, to the south. Uh, kind of goes west for five feet and then down to the south. Uh, for another, the stairs go for about 20 feet down. And... You come to a 
a uh, cistern-like sewer area with ankle-deep water. It smells bad, obviously. And I'm going to give you the general features of the dungeon to keep in mind. You might want to write these down in case uh, you you. Uh, there's going to be there's going to be features that you're want, going to want to remember. Uh, so the dungeon's rooms, corridors, and staircases are hewn from limestone, and unlit unless the text unless I state otherwise. Uh, the five foot wide corridors throughout the dungeon have eight foot high ceilings. Rooms have nine foot high ceilings, often braced with wooden beams. Um, let's see. Regular doors in the dungeon are made of soft, rotting wood. Certain areas of the dungeon are flooded with murky water to a depth of two feet. And you said the the corridors are five feet wide. How wide is the main? Or is that? Or that is, the corridors that is a are corridor. Okay, sorry, I thought it was corridors that went <laughs> off. Never mind. I'm so the me. stairs went down and then it opened up into a room that's fifteen feet by. 70, f whoa, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 40 feet, 15 by 40, it's a, it's a room, and then uh, straight across from the stairs, a corridor goes south, another uh, 20 feet, and then it, you can't see where it goes. Dave, can you move your mic a little up or down so you're not oh, breathing into sorry. it? Not a problem. Uh, it looks like it turns to the left. On the, on the western side of the room, there is a little hallway that you can't see into. Yeah, that's the state right now of where you're at. So we see two hallways, or one hallway we can't see down, one that looks like it veers left on the south, right? Yep. Cool. And did you close the trap door, or the uh, secret door up there? If it's I, possible, yes. Yeah, I would, probably would have been the last, and I would have closed it. Okay. What are you guys doing? Uh, who wants to go first? I don't mind, but I, uh, I'm i going to tell you right now, I tend not to notice things. I'll go I first. Just stomp ahead. <laughs> Which way I'm are we squishy, going? squishy, so I'll stay in the back. Uh, why don't you go in front of me? I'll, I'll stay in the back. Okay. <laughs> you talking to me? To Jarvis. Okay. So Jarvis. To the one who just said, "I'm squishy." I'll go yeah. in the back. And I said, "No, don't be in the back." That's actually thank you. <laughs> very smart. Very smart. So Jerry, <laughs> Rollercoast, Jarvis, Cairo. Yeah. Uh, yeah I've got a remedy for that. For for like shitting yourself, if you ever. It wasn't real shit. <laughs> oh. And then nice and then name. and then I cast and then I cast it again and just make it smell like shit. Well, it oh, already it already can. smells like <laughs> shit. I make it smell peaches and flowers mixed with the shit of the air. Yes. <laughs> like spraying Febreze on it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. exactly. It, it's um poopery. So it, it, it's like a, you know, one of those like gas station spray things that are super tiny. So that's what your prestidig prestidigitation can do. It doesn't overpower the sewer. It does help, but it's, you, it's not like you're, you're not smelling shit that's anymore. Fair, fair. I was just trying to prove a point that it wasn't my poop. Oh, definitely. Uh, which <laughs> corridor are you going to? Well, I always say you can't go wrong when you're going right. I vote this one. Right is right. I would just like to, to commend Jake on pronouncing prestidigitation correctly. Prestidigitation? <laughs> there have been other campaigns where 
Wasn't there like a whole bit about that in in another campaign? In our Cause... campaign? Yeah. I'm Way sure. early on, there was a whole thing where we could not get the character to say it right, and that was like oh was yeah like a yeah puzzle right yeah no it was the talking so wall funny. that couldn't yeah. say it, and you were locked in there, <laughs> and uh, yeah you had to get him to say it. He was a nice guy, but then you left him. <laughs> Jerks. Uh, so the little corridor uh, to the right. It opens up into a small 10 foot by 15 foot room. Um... Real quick, it, there's no torches lit down here. For... Yeah, what? That's a good point. What? Who's got dark vision? I do. I, um, I do. Yeah. I believe I do too. Yes, I do. Kitty. We all do. Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. Uh, so everybody's got dark vision. Cool. Thank God I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> all right. We're all seeing in grayscale. No colors. All right, so in this, it's a dead end. Uh, where's that fucking... Oh, there we go. Um... Anything? It's a. It looks like a dead end. Do you want to do anything in here, or or what? <coughs> yeah, I do. Nothing's a dead end if you try hard enough. And I just take my maul and give it a good practice swing or two into the into the back wall. Okay. Is it uh, sturdy? Does the wall hold? Uh. So. Uh, make an attack roll on the wall. Okay. While he's doing that, um, I also asked the group, are we going to be here for a few minutes? I'd like to, uh, see if I can find anything. Well, I just critted that wall for a 25 oh. to hit with my maul. Yeah, so you smash it, and sure enough, it's a secret door made to look like limestone, like the rest of the walls, and it enters, uh, it goes into another chamber. To the south. <laughs> I just wanted to swing my maul. Awesome. Nice. Wow. Shall we that move on? Very nicely. <laughs> yeah. Good call. Good call. Didn't even need cool. to detect magic. You guys, <laughs> you guys going in? Yeah, same. Let's press forward. Order. I, I'm now, <laughs> I'm now so gassed about it that I definitely go through first. Okay. <clears throat> so this, you enter through the secret door and it goes past the door. It's like another five feet and then it turns, you see to the right, it's a dead end. And to the left, it opens up into another room that is uh, 15 by 20 feet. And the corridor, once you go through the room, another corridor continues. But in this room, you the larger room, there's a face down, bloated corpse, shirtless male, and has a bunch of knife wounds in his back. Um, Real problem to have. You said to the right was a dead end? Yeah. And nothing's a dead end if you try hard enough. And I smash <laughs> it with my mom. Yep. Make an attack. Oh my god. Uh, 17 this time. Uh, roll damage. Uh, 6, 6, 12. No, 9. So you, nine. you, uh, knock a good portion of limestone off, but it doesn't collapse, uh, as the previous secret door did. Got it. Well, Jerry runs over to that wall and takes his great axe and hits the wall. Okay, we're just going to say you hit it, and, uh, yep, same thing. You you carve out another piece of limestone. Ah, damn. I thought yeah, it was going to be the secret like passage. Yeah, me too. Shame. Well. Hey, what's that body? <laughs> uh, that's, what's, that's what's smelling. 
Well, our, our marching order got all fucked up now with Kairos and Jerry being distracted by a wall, so... Rollercoast, Jerry, or Jarvis, are either of you taking the lead into this room? Yeah, I'm gonna go look at the body. So, make a... You're inspecting it? Correct. Are you... For things, or it's... What, what More do you... like, how long has he, like, been dead? Medicine check. Six. <laughs> well, as you get closer, you can't really tell uh, how long it's been dead, but it's bloated and smells worse than the rest of the place. Uh, yeah. You don't really know. All right, then I will continue on and look for things. <clears throat> I sit on the floor and start um, casting uh, Ritual of Detect Magic. So the water is two feet deep in here, so it's up to oh. your chest if you're sitting down, and it's sewer water, so. Oh, is there anything to sit on, or is it just a... Not in this no, room. probably not. Okay, then I stand and do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> Ten minutes later, you detect magic, and what's the range on that? Range, range, range is... Uh, 30 feet. Okay. So, theoretically, the entire room? Yeah, you're not no. seeing anything in here. Dope. Go check that dead end room real quick. You got enough time, I hope. Yeah, you I do go do that. You don't see anything in there, but the corridor, as I said, uh, goes to the east into another room. It goes 10 feet and then opens up into another room. Check so, that out. Yeah, where is this? Where was this again? So, you guys went south through the secret door, then you hung, you went east into this area with the corpse. Mm -hmm. And the corridor continues, the dead end is to the west, and the corridor continues to the east and opens up into another room. Oh, I think I inverted my map, that's why I'm confused. Got it. And... This room, who's, what's the marching order? Same as before? Yeah, we've reassembled, so back to, back to the same. Okay. Uh, three wooden beams brace the ceiling of this flooded chamber, which features a stone altar covered with entrails in the northeast corner. Hanging on the wall above the altar is a three-foot-tall steel mask cast in the form of a frowning human skull. It probably looks something like this. Mm. And it's not pinging on your detect magic there, Jarvis. Okay. Uh, but knowing what y'all know about Ball the God of Murder, you could uh, surmise that this is a sacrifice. Mm. Sacrifice chamber. Well, it's not a good I place. I will say, we definitely found the right place. Yeah, I would say the Dead Three have a strong presence here. So, well, should we start uh, making a mess? <clears throat> I yes. heft my maul a little bit more. Well, this place got to go, and I just take a big old thwack at the altar. Okay. I just, I just start uh, hacking start... it. Heavy metal. Making bands, a lot of noise. Hotel rooming the place. Okay. Making a lot of noise. We're yeah, Jerry falls. Tearing it down. Alright. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. So you definitely do some damage to the altar. The corridor goes down to the south. So from where you entered, it goes down another 25 feet and then. There's kind of like a corner cutout before the corridor goes west, uh, east again. And oh. in that corner cutout is a tapestry seven foot tall, depicts a grisly scene of four faceless figures ripping apart a fifth figure who is screaming. Oh, this place is the worst. I just start like yanking it to pull it down. Okay, and when you do, great, now i got to look this up. 
Thanks, Adventure. <laughs> for not giving Sorry. me the Sorry I'm making a mess of this place. You're just <clears throat> you're just excited. A little. It's true. Uh 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 So I know we were sent down here to look for these guys. Clear them out. What, Clear them out. Clear them out. I heard a uh, stop the murder there's, sprees. <clears throat> there's no one here. Do we just hang out here till nighttime when they're supposed to come down? Yeah. No, no there's an idea. I figure we just, just keep looking until we find them. And yeah. Bash their heads in. Also, also, you, you, the corridor keeps going. So, um, you haven't, you, you haven't explored the whole. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Where's the freaking? You find yellow mold, but why is that not coming up on the? And it's... maybe we should take take it down a notch in the sound levels so we can actually like sneak up on these guys. Too late. Less wall smashing. I don't. Uh, it's never worked for me. But, uh... Did you not see the guy trying to throw tables? <laughs> but I mean, we can give it a shot. That's fine. I just uh... there's things had to go, so. So I'm not gonna bother with the yellow mold because I don't want to look for it. But the the as I said, the corridor continues east, goes down a little staircase. It continues east. 20 feet, and then it opens up into another room, and you see a door across the room uh, and then um, yeah <clears throat> well press on gents yep. so entering this little 15 foot square I should say it's a square tilted on its side so kind of like a diamond uh and in the north uh, door, there's doors in the north, the east, and the south. And the north door has a carving of ball uh, depicted as a powerfully built skull-headed man with long curved blades where his hand should be. The eastern door, the face of this door bears a carving of bane. Uh, God of Tyranny, who is depicted as a tall armored man wearing a bucket helm. His right gauntlet is painted black and clutches a set of shackles. The southern door, so you guys came from w the west, you were going east. Um, the southern door, this door bears a carving of Merkel, the Lord of Bones, portrayed as a cloaked figure whose face is hidden under a cowl. His skeletal hands clutches a screaming human skull. Well, I see three shitty decisions. Or th shitty choices. <clears throat> Anyone got any ideas? And I start sniffing each of the doors to see which direction smells the best. Are any of them pinging anything with... I'm, I'm assuming it hasn't been ten minutes. Are any of, is anything pinging with magic? Nope. I would like to just choose, say, the northernmost door wait, and investigate wait, it. Wait! Oh, okay. For traps. I'm, I'm also going to poof my spider back into it. Well, is there any... Does it look like there's, like, room under the door for my spider to get under? How big is your spider? Uh... That is a very good question. Thank you. <laughs> is, are we no still idea. in two feet of water? No, th so the stairs, I misspoke. They didn't go down, they went up, so it took you out of the water in here. Got it. That's good, at least. Um... Yeah, not a big fan of water. Gets the fur all clumpy. So it does doesn't... poop. It says tiny beast, but it doesn't say anything other than that. Yeah, it can go under the door. Okay, and you said there's the door, the bottom of the door doesn't have water going to it, right? It does not. Okay, yeah, I'm going. Um, I'm gonna poof my spider back into an existence. Okay. Um. 
and the door that Rolo uh, yeah, Rolocos is investigating. Um, once he's done checking for traps, I'm going to send my spider, Spidey mm. underneath. Make an investigation check, Rolocos. Seventeen. You're pretty darn sure there's no traps in this here door. Meow. Well, this one seems clear. <laughs> and that one, uh, let me see if I get that right. That one's ball, isn't it? Oh, well, the three. Yeah, I, I, I think that's on the, the one I'd... Yeah. I think that's the one uh, I'd prefer. So you send Challenge your spider... Horgan's Hor ball. Hmm. So you send your spider under... Yes. It heads up, and it goes 40 feet north, and then the hallway goes west another 35 feet, and as it goes west, it hits water again. How many feet west? Sorry. 35. Cool. And can you see through your Spidey? I believe so. Uh, I think I can see and uh, familiar. Okay. So, and then the corridor, once it goes fully west, it turns north, and it looks like that's where you came from, where you start the very first. Uh, what does your map look like? Show me. Uh, it's in the chat. Um, now I'm zooming out. So I thought I was backwards, and now I think I had it right the first time, and I have to now flip it. Um, but essentially what's on the right I think is supposed to be on the left side. I have to mess up my screen to look at your map, so can you screen share it real quick? Oh, of course. Think I'm sharing the right screen? Yes. Uh, so... The so the red dots are doors, or and then a dead body, yeah. And there was a couple other doors there. You can't see them, but there's like thin black lines where those doors were. Okay, so here's <laughs> here's what it looks like. Okay, Perfect. that's what I had the first time, and I thought I had it wrong, so I should have left it. And this is the one with all the doors. Got it. Cool. Yep. Um, so I poof my uh, spider back over to me. Uh, this leads back to where we started. Remember that hallway we didn't go down? That room we were in when we came downstairs? Yeah, this is just a circle. Oh. Well, then I'll go check the south door. So, um... As you approach... What do you do? I'm checking the south door for traps again. Okay. Uh, investigate. Thank you. So as you're checking the door, you are checking, like, the edges and getting real close. You start checking, looking under the crack. And as your little kitty cat eyes look under the crack, under the door... You see a few other eyes staring back at you, and the door swings open. Oh, Roll cool. initiative. Now we're going to use the not, we're going to use the dice that are not evil for this thing. Gary, change your camera back. Oh, my apologies. All right, 25 to 20. Twenty to fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen also. Ooh. Who has higher decks? Definitely not me. Definitely me. <laughs> fifteen to ten. <laughs> Ten to five. Nine? 
fucking Jerry. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I'm standing in front of the north door and not in front of this door. All right. All right. This room that we're in where the doors are, um, I have it right that it's about 15 by, uh, 20 by 15 feet, right? Uh, the, the room with the three doors is 15 by 15. Oh, 15 by 15. Oh, that's what I have. Uh, cool. So these necromites get up and attack, uh, but they're not first. Roller coaster, you're first. There's two of them. What are they? Yeah, what are they? What do they look like? Necromites. They look like the hooded figure of the picture I sent on the right. Got it. Okay. Can I draw my yep two uh, short swords and take two swings? How about it? Twenty three and nat twenty. To hit. <laughs> Both of them hit, surprisingly. So the first hit is seven damage. The second hit is eight damage. A, they are surprised at seeing a large feline down here deftly wielding short swords and stabbing them in the stomach is the most surprising part for them. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, how much room do I have to the sides of me? I just want to like s stay within melee range but allow enough space for somebody else to get up here. Uh, not much. It's just much. you in this doorway, or you can move further in past them, still be within melee range without getting an opportunity to attack into the room they were in. Or you can back up. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll go in the room with them. Okay. So now more people can get at them. And this room you're in south of the three-doored room you just came from is 15 by 15 as well, except it's not a square on its side. Like a diamond, it's a square room. Uh, Kairos. Uh, good thing you stepped in, because as you were stabbing them, you hear me screaming behind you, Rollercoast, make way! As I run forward with a huge maul over my head and just bring it down, um, trying to smash one of their heads. Let's do it. And that is 22 to hit. Yep. Uh, I get to re-roll one of these damage dice. It's the same thing. Ten points of damage with that hit. You smash the skull of one of these necromites of Merkel. And, and there's only one left. What's that? I said, and it pops? Yeah. His head. Yeah. Great. You Great. hear Sweet. a... That's what I was going for. Perfect. <laughs> Gallagher, another baddie. Mm -hmm. My goal in life. Okay. Uh, all right. That's that's all I got. So the last Merkelite is going to pull out a f skull flail and attack you, who just killed his friend. Which die do you want me to roll? I don't remember which Too late. was the good one. Which one? I rolled the heavenly <laughs> one, and it still rolled well. That's a 20, not crit. It does hit me still. Oh. 
One bludgeoning damage. <laughs> A chuckle. <laughs> and he looks terrified. Uh, Jarvis. Jarvis standing by the north door. Is uh, he still in my way? The paladin is Kairos. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I? Am I able to get around him? Uh, he's pretty much blocking everything. He's pretty much blocking it. It's giving the guy cover, but you can still make an attempt. All right. I'm gonna cast the firebolt off at this little thing. All right. Seventeen plus. Uh, gosh, no, it's just straight roll. No, plus five. Uh, twenty-three. Yeah. Yes. 22. Yes. And... Six damage. You burn this guy down to the ground, hits the floor, <laughs> unmoving. Beautiful. You've cleared this southern room. And, Rolikos, you see that to the west from this southern room... Uh, there's a short flight of stairs going up to a chamber with a sarcophagus uh, opened already and this this area is like there's rubble it's collapsed partially uh, I want to check the pockets of the man at my feet first you find the each one has a skull flail. And one has five copper and the other has two copper. So look around and be like, does anybody else want this? Pulling out the copper pieces. <laughs> No, six. Yeah, I'll oh, take. I'll take it. I'll okay, take it. Here you go. All yours, bud. Then somebody else go up there. I'm, I don't. I'm. Wa I'm already heading up there no. while you're I, looting. I... Okay. So how many copper was that? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> so as I said, this is a, a sarcophagus. It, it's about five feet up. Uh, and it, the back behind the sarcophagus is a bunch of rubble. Uh, you said it's open. Is it completely empty, or is there anything in there? It looks like it's been uh, looted long ago. Um, but... Yeah. I just go. It smells like undead. Just a hunch. Are you are you gonna search inside or no? Yes. There's bones and stuff. Oh, there are bones and stuff in there. Cool. Um, but they're not moving or anything. <laughs> One of them says, "Come here. <laughs> Why don't you touch me?" And I pick up that one and I snap it in half. <laughs> no, it didn't say that to you. But um, uh, so you search inside the sarcophagus. Yeah. Make an investigation check. Why do I bother looking at things? Three. You're kind of creeped out by everything in here. You don't find much. Spider. Mm. There's another spider in here, Jarvis, if you want it. I know that's kind of your thing. Other than that, it's just bones looks like to me. It's and I start walking same. back down. It's not the same. It's just, just not the same. Okay. Uh, anything I'm else? I'm going to go up there and also check that room out with my okay. special cat eyes. Also, um, for future references, just to make uh, it easier for you guys to roleplay, if you guys want, I will periodically offer for me to roll investigation or perception checks or stealth checks for you in certain situations so there's no situation where it's like your meta brain takes over your meta brain takes over i rolled a one on stealth i'm gonna start making actions because i know i'm being loud as hell uh so that's kind of the purpose of that 
And, uh, yeah, so you want to investigate the sarcophagus and around it? Yeah. Do you want me to roll for you or no? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. What's your modifier? Investigation plus two. Sixteen. So you find some books hidden underneath the bones, and you're shocked that Kairos didn't see this stuff because it's pretty <laughs> freaking obvious. I mean, it does. You can see how it might be misconstrued to be, like, clothing or something. Uh, but you find some books, three books, bound in red leather. Um, one has a... One is red leather, one has a uh, umber cover? What is umber cover? That's a color, right? Yeah. Natural brown color. or reddish brown earth pigment. Okay, and then the third one has a scaly black reptile hide. You want to look inside? Yeah, I'm going to... Hey, Kairos, you, uh, you see these? And start dragging them out of there. Handing them out so we and can I just start laughing. I just don't. Who cares? They're books. I was just making sure the bones weren't moving. So, uh, yeah, they're spell books. Ooh. The wizard takes. Well, do I see? Do I see them from where I'm standing? I mean, you're in this room. I assume. Yeah, I assume I'm looking yeah, at them with them. So. The wizard takes interest to these. So, spell book one. Get your pen ready. Yep. Spellbook 1 contains burning hands, detect magic, disguise self, fog cloud, ray of sickness, and silent image. I'll say it again. Burning hands, detect magic, disguise self, fog cloud, ray of sickness, silent image. The cool. second spellbook, the umber cover, contains charm person, find familiar, identify, magic missile, and sleep. The third Sorry. spell book has Cloud of Daggers, Dark Vision, Detect Magic, Feather Fall, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, and Time Stop. I'm just kidding about the last one. I was about to say, holy <laughs> God, that's a jump. <laughs> They're just like typing the words. What's the difference Whoa. between Hideous Laughter and Tasha's Hideous Laughter? Nothing. There is oh, no. okay. Um, hey guys, mind if I, uh, take these? I can kind of copy them down and use them for myself, if you don't mind. As I After said you already, copy them, can we sell their them? books, who cares? And I take A them A lot of I... people. <laughs> How I much? Use, like, can I... Huh? How much does it cost you to copy them over? I gotta, it's, well, some of them are half, but I think it's like a hunt, uh, 50 gold or something like that. <laughs> 50 gold <laughs> per be a while. Level. Yeah, I can't use them right now. Um, kind of broke, but yeah, I could use them eventually. Yeah, uh, you got the books. Cool. Uh, so there was the umber, the spell book, which spell book number one, what, how it was just, was that the scaly one? That was the red leather one. The spell book two has the, uh, has like a rune on it from a previous owner burned into its umber cover. Spell book three is a scaly black reptile hide. Cool, thank you. Yep. Man, that would have sucked for you if Rollercoast wouldn't... Didn't find it. <laughs> thank you, Rollercoast. I'm never trusting that kind of look for anything. For finding that this guy couldn't find. Can't trust him anymore. That's fair now. Now you can... Now you can... Uh, you can in-game explain why you would n just double-check when he's investigating stuff. Um... So, the rest of this room, it's a dead end. What would you like to do, as far as you know? Well, I could knock down some walls three. here, or could you try that <laughs> You beat me to it. I was just going to have <laughs> Jerry go to a random, a random wall and just, just wail away on <laughs> I'm going to go north, or we came in through the north, the uh, south wall. Okay. Well, well they do that. It. Make an attack. While they do that, I'll go check door number three. I just offered. <laughs> so when you 
you investigate door number three. Go ahead and roll your investigation. I got an 11 on the attack. Mod 20. Uh, you're damn sure there's nothing trapped about this door. And this is the face-bearing Bane, God of Tyranny. Uh, Jerry, you hit that wall and it seems st stronger than the previous wall you hit. Nothing much happens. You see some sparks. Ah, uh, damn. Uh. One Big of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one of these walls fall down. One of these days, hey. wall. One of these days. Jerry, you didn't even get a piece of limestone off on that one, and I hack into it as well with my ten hit. Um, ten to hit the wall. How sturdy is this wall? Is it significantly sturdier? Like It's just like the other sturdier? walls. You don't understand okay. why it's not... <laughs> it's... What did I describe? Uh, marble? Or, no, limestone. limestone. Uh, yeah. You don't... It seems like the other walls. Uh, what do you guys... You want to keep hacking at the walls? No, when I don't... When I'm not able to break anything off of it, I start feeling around and touching the wall and, and pressing on things because something seems weird about it. Investigate. I will relay that door number three is clear of traps. We're good to go. 17. Yeah, you're not finding anything. Yeah. And I turn, I turn and to him on. and say, if you want to give me 10 minutes, I can look for if anything else that you might not be seeing, or we can just move on. Nah, this took only a minute. I mean, you on. do have if, trouble if, seeing if things, are you sure? I found exactly what I was looking for, thank you very much. Those bones were dead. I mean, these are very valuable. How did you not see them? <laughs> I saw the bones, and I stopped there. Were they Whatever. under the bones? They were under the bones, weren't they? Weren't they? they yes, were. yes, but you were looking at the bones, so how did you miss the books? I stopped at the bones. Rollercoaster, are you done with that door yet? Yeah, yeah, it's clear. I You're good. I poofed my spider back into existence, <laughs> and I am going to send Spidey under door. Okay, Spidey goes under door. The, the corridor goes 50 feet east with two stairways going down and water uh, at the end of it, and it, cur and it hangs a right, uh, the corridor, so it's now facing south. And that opens up into a, uh, a room that's braced floor to ceiling with wooden beams. Rough hewn steps rise out of the murky water. Uh, are you stealthing? Are you going into this, uh, into this new room or with the spider? Or what are you doing? Um, does the spider have... Do, uh, yep. I guess I've never... Ah, they do. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, that's dex, right? So plus two dex. Yeah, I'm actually going to stealth. I did not realize I could do that. How about it? Plus two dex. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I am very stealthy. Okay. So there's a... Is there... A, I don't have to go under another door. It's just the room opens up, right? Yep. Okay. And I'm going to just go and I'm not going to go deep into the room. I'm just going to kind of enter so I can see the room. Um, and he has dark vision 30 feet with uh, passive perception 12. What was your stealth again? Oh, I'm sorry. Stealth is plus four. Uh, my bad. Uh, my stealth is nine. Not that it's much better. Okay. So, uh, rough hewn steps rise out of the murky water to the western portion of the room, which is dry and lit by two torches in the sconces that flank a stone altar. Shackled to the wall, uh, behind the altar is a sickly man in a loincloth with a burlap sack over his head. An alcove in the north wall. So you come down in here and uh, this room, basically, most of it goes west. Uh, in an uh, alcove in the north wall, there's a freestanding suit of plate armor missing its helm. Standing before the altar are two grim figures, a powerfully built woman clutching a mace, and an even bigger man wearing a bucket helm. 
The helmed man is jabbing the prisoner with a spear, causing him to twitch. Both figures are clad in chainmail, and the woman carries a wooden shield with a leering skull pointed, painted on it. And as you see this, you see the woman turn and see your spider. Poof out of existence. Okay. As soon as I see her turning, I poof it out of existence. Your spider's no longer there, and you can't see in the room anymore. So, what cool. are you guys doing? Um, I relay exactly what I saw. Uh, two, two, uh, two human or, or two pit figures stabbing this guy that's held prisoner with a sack over his head. We're clear about, uh, say, 70 feet um, to the next room where they are at. I stop here at the end, and I just say, oh, she was looking at mentioned... you when when you pooped your spider. Yeah, I, I, and I do mention that. Um, she might have seen the spider. Uh, I poofed my spider away as soon as she started to turn. Unknown if it's a surprise or not. Here, here's the thing, because it shocked me the first time I see it. Spiders don't normally poof away into non-existence. Oh, uh, that was might be better stupid. off letting it sit. Guys, we need to go now. Um, that would, and I, I wouldn't be surprised I, if, that, that, if that guy with the bag over his head isn't my brother, Bakorsh. What? Your, your always, brother's super old. Always getting into trouble like that. Just getting himself in Barry, bad situations. I would... Barry is such a, you know, troublemaker. Good natured. That Barry. Um, no. But I, uh, I, I brace myself after saying, like, guys, we should go. And I start heading down the hallway. Short, checking short, over my short, shoulder, short making sure that I'm uh, being followed. So you're <laughs> exiting, or are you going down where the spider went? Towards where the... You said it was like a long hallway and yeah. then stairs. I just want to know if room. you're like yeah. going towards... Okay. I'm going towards that, yeah. yeah. We're going to go stop this. I put my swords away and draw my bow. Okay. So you got... I'm going to cast a mage armor on myself as well. Okay. You head down there, so it's Kairos... Rollercoast, Jarvis, and Jerry? Sure. Uh, yep. As you enter the room, you see exactly pretty much the same thing. Uh, likely what happened is the woman might, those spell books might have come from somebody who uh, had a fine familiar and possibly screwed with her on multiple occasions so she didn't think twice about it. Uh, but they're poking at this guy, and when they see you, uh, roll initiative. This is a miracle. I'm doing great tonight. Was that sarcasm? Oh, no, you had a good roll the first time. That's right. I did. 25 to 20. 21. Whoa. I should say I did paladin great. <laughs> 20 to 15. 18. 17. I'm the only one left. I'm at a five. And... So... Okay, Jerry, you're up first. You see a guy, a massive guy with a bucket on his head and a large woman with a shield. And a guy mm. chained up in a loincloth, small, skinny, getting tortured. I grab my javelin from my back and I launch the javelin at the guy with the bucket on his head, aiming for his chest. Okay, have Got a... a 19. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. Uh, six damage. Okay. And as a bonus action, I start raging. I'm going to go, ah! and I look to my 
adventuring partner is like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're, yeah, okay. Uh, so you make your way uh, ahead of them, do that. Cool. Raging. Nothing else? That's it. Okay. It is now the Buckethead's turn. And the bucket head is going to likewise take a spear and chuck it at you. Fourteen to hit? Yes, that hits. Four piercing damage. And uh, it's going to rush towards you and engage. And that's its turn. Kairos. Oh, so I'm probably pretty close to Buckethead now, huh? If he ran towards us. Yeah. So I just say, I say to him, a spear for a spear. Whore would like you. And then I smash him with my mom. Smash. Well, I probably don't smash him with my mole. Uh, that'd be a 10 to hit. A whopping 10. No. No. So I don't hit him. Um, and... Nope, that'll be it. Oh. Jarvis. So I go into the room to where they're both within 20 feet of me, and I'm going to cast Sleep, and I'm going to designate both of them. Okay. Not, not the guy that is chained up. Okay. Roll your sleep dice. Twenty-nine. Uh, so and it starts with the lowest lowest hit point person, and then works its way up. If they don't, I assume they. Yeah. So the up. woman falls asleep. The bucket head does not. Cool. And then I say, um, she's sleeping. Don't wake her up. Let's deal with the Bucky guy first. And I back away to the back corner of the room again. Rollercoast. Is there room to get, like... Am I in the hallway or am I in the room with them? I'm just going to say you're in the room. How far away? Uh, about 25, 30 feet. Oh, beautiful. All right, I just want to get to whatever, however many feet to the left or right, I have to go yep. to shoot my bow and not hit a friend. For sure. Eighteen. That hits. Ten damage. Nice. That will be my turn. Okay. Jerry. I'm going to get my axe and go at Bucket Man. <clears throat> He's a Bucket Man. <laughs> mm, bucket Man. Dancing on the heads of tortured people. So I roll my attack twice and just take the higher number? For, for advantage, right? For for reckless. For rage. No, I think your reckless gives you advantage. Rage gives you a okay. bonus. So uh, reckless means you, reckless you means advantage. You gain advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Oh, not attacks. Never mind. Not attacks is in parentheses. Okay. Oh, was that danger sense you were reading? No, it was under rage. Uh, but just saying, I can't do that on attacks. Um, yeah, reckless I think gives checks. you advantage. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not doing reckless. Okay. Uh, so I got an, I got a fourteen. Nope. All right. Anything else? That's it. Bucket head. Okay, bucket head. Pull out another spear. It's gonna attack you, 
Jerry with the spear. It's a 19 to hit and seven piercing damage with the spear as he takes two hands and starts starts giving you a little poke. A little poke. <laughs> Ah, guys, he's poking me. <laughs> he goes, tickle, tickle. And you hear like, ah. and this is coming from under the bucket, and it sounds, tickle, 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 tickle. Ah, guys, get this guy off me. Ugh. Kairos. He sounds like a creep. <laughs> um, I'm going to hit him. 16? Yep sweet um so when i hit him i say that's enough and there's a bright flash tickle, of tickle. silvery light as i divine smite him you smit him i smit him i smote <laughs> smite him you smoot Twelve points of bludgeoning damage nice plus four points of radiant damage wait one spell slot to do 2d8. Nine points of radiant damage. 12 regular, nine radiant, 21 total. Okay. Damn. For a level two character? He's Jeez. looking rough. Smite! <laughs> That's what paladins do. Um, and that is all I do. Jarvis. Uh, firebolt to the bucket man. Uh, 19? Yeah, yeah. I don't feel so eight, good. Eight damage to Bucket Man. Where would you like your firebolt to hit him? Straight through the bucket. <laughs> so you guys see a little smoking hole. You can't see his head in the hole, but uh, there's smoke coming out of it now, and he falls back dead. Jerry puts his Jerry puts his mouth on the on the hole and he goes I'm poking you, I'm poking you. It smells like burnt of... flesh. <laughs> and then he retracts and coughs a little bit. <laughs> okay. So I turn to the party and say, She's sleeping right now, but the second any of us move her, she'll wake up. So we all have to hit her at the exact same time. I'm already pulling a rope out of my bag going like, Ooh, I have much better plans. Oh. How does the prisoner look? Is he barely hanging on for life, or is he just in pain? He's in pain. He's been tortured. I mean, uh, he doesn't look in imminent danger of dying. I'm going to uh, walk over to him actually, and give him a cure wound. Yeah, he, is that you, Bacorsh? He's, is that he's you, pretty Bacorsh? close to death. Like, he's not making death saves, but he's pretty close. Uh, Jerry, when you say that, the noble, uh, looks up, just beaten face, bloodied, there's pus coming out of parts of his head, sw swollen everywhere, uh, he goes, my name is Clem. Hey, it's not my brother, Bakorsh, it's a guy named Clem. I uh, walk over to Clem and give him a healing, healing touch for nine health. He goes, "Oh, I feel so much better. Thank you so much." Sorry, cure wounds is what it's called, but yeah. Uh, Jerry, from working in the what's what's the name of your organization again? The Watch. The Watch. From working in the Watch, you. All of you know the names of the people that are supposed to be in the upper city. Clem sounds familiar, and uh, Clem, once he gets a cure wounds, goes, I'm Clem Jasso. I feel so much better. And you know Clem Jasso is a noble from the upper city. Clem Jasso? 
I've patrolled your neighborhood before. Are you a watchman? I used to be. Or I am. Yes, part-time. Okay. I just really want to get out of here. How do I get out? We'll get you out of here. Just as soon as we're done ransacking <coughs> this dungeon. Oh, no. I, I, I'm going to leave now. I can't be here. I've been tortured. <laughs> I wouldn't no, recommend it. You you're gonna stay here with us. Well, can you take me out here, just out of here, real quick? Not real quick. We got something to do. And what I am I start supposed to do? Got, uh, just, we gotta kill this. You you might enjoy this, this. beauty over <laughs> here. Are we killing or taking captive? Yes. Well, I was gonna. Well, I'm just gonna tie her up right now, and once she wakes up, we can. Uh, we can deal with it. <clears throat> you want me to take uh, the noble out? I mean, it, it is pretty quick if you just go up. I mean, but then you go through the bathhouse, and we don't want to give up the jig there. Put them on more alert. That might be trouble. Yeah. Sorry, man. Got to keep you here with us. Clem, do you remember how you got down here? No, I was going down into the lower city to see what the other half lives like. And I got clubbed in the head, and that's... I woke up here, and I've been tortured ever since. Don't worry, sir. We'll get you back to your homestead in no I can't time. stay here. I'm, I, I, I have a father who's sick, and... I, I'm, I'm leaving. Your father's still alive? Barely. My mother's dead. I'm sorry and to I, hear that. I square up in front of him using all my bulk and I just kind of like talk down to him very menacingly. I'm just like, sit down and shut up. Make we'll an intimidation check. 16. Okay, but. You know, my family will reward you, I'm sure, if you just take me out of here, right now. Yeah, we, we'll take you out of here, don't worry. He sits down. Just, just... Freaked out, and what's not, but not moving. So what do you do with the, uh, the, the, uh, lady? I want to tie her up. Dexterity. Hmm, shit. You want nat some assistance one. with that? You're <laughs> lucky you rolled a nat one because it's obvious to everyone that you're just like rapid. An idiot. You're <laughs> just winding the rope around one arm and then around another, and it's like part Somebody of the. Somebody just tie her up, please. <laughs> part of the rope is going like between the fingers, and you. It's it's like. Sad, actually. It's bad. It's bad. And just to just to be a show off, um, I uh, wait. Oh wait, is this actually is this is sleep a concentration? No. No. Okay. Cool. Just to be a show off, I cast my mage hand and I use my mage hand to start tying the rope. Dex it. Pretty sure a ranger <laughs> could do it better than you guys. Oh, can, I was fuck. gonna say, can I assist oh. in this? To give him advantage? You can't assist a uh, mage hand. Mage hand. <laughs> What'd you get? Because... <laughs> Five. And I give you two big middle fingers for trying to show <laughs> off. <and pulling> off. <laughs> <sighs> what do you do, Roller Coaster? Jerry, Jerry. I am just gonna, like, <laughs> shake my head at them and be like, you guys are literally the worst, and try to take the rope and do it my damn self. And, uh... <laughs> Clem sees this and he goes, you guys are going to die down here. You guys don't even know how to tie knots. We're real good at killing. Not so good at not tying, okay? He doesn't say anything, so make your roll for... Straight decks, or what do you want me to add? Straight here? decks. Sleight of hand, whatever you want to do. Uh, sleight of hand, 15. Yeah, much better. Uh, you think that they're tied up they look tied up you're pretty Great. confident in your work what do you do now that she's tied up um i grab her by the bindings and roughly drag her which i assume will wake her up mm -hmm. 
um, I'll roughly drag her over to where they were torturing the dude. Mm-hmm. I'll shove her up against the wall and then start brutally interrogating her while spouting off about a whore's vengeance um, and how violence begets violence and torture begets torture. And so I have no qualms stabbing her, punching her in the face. Like, I pick up the dude's spear and start, like, poking her like they were she, poking the dude. <clears throat> she she laughs in your face. Whore is nothing in the face of Bane. Whore's a joke, just like you. Well, I still want to know how many of them, how many of you there are down here, and I poke her again, and I'm trying, I'm, like, replicating the, the wounds that they inflicted on the dude on her. Okay. Uh, she... Make an intimidation check. Make it good. 18. Um, yeah, she, she says, uh, I'm not telling you anything. You can kill me. I'll join... Join Bane in the afternoon. Fine enough for me. And I just jab the spear in her face. <laughs> Well, nothing to be gained here. Let's take this guy out. <laughs> Loot the bodies real quick. Well, that's a good idea. I start patting her down. So, on Yignath, the Buckethead Man, you find some keys. Seven key, keys. Iron key ring with seven keys. And, yeah, you uh, with um, Kazira, the person you just killed... The shield has a skull on it with fresh blood on it. Jerry goes, I wonder what her name was. <laughs> and she as well has a mace. I leave those. No money. Should we take these keys just in case? Of course. Should uh, we you... take something of identification to prove we murdered Jerry will these take people? the mace. There's a shackles uh, in the corner near the suit of armor that was uh, oh, right. presumably being used. Uh, I would like to go look at the suit of armor. <laughs> uh, so the suit of armor is welded together. It's not moving or anything. Uh, its gauntlets are detachable. Um, uh, is it just like a suit of plate armor yep but it's I welded don't need together. no wooden shield oh but it's welded together okay so it's like a do I think a smith one can one break it apart <laughs> oh, sure yeah okay who wants to help me carry this out of here I uh I want it, it looks nice <laughs> <laughs> here here the gauntlets come off and I take those these are lights somebody here when you, take these. when you grab the gauntlets, uh, they slip out of your hands, start floating animated, and start punching you in the face. Ah, shit. And that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we'll pick up next week for episode three with Kairos getting punched in the face by animated gauntlets. And, uh, yeah, the first episode is on YouTube as well as on Venture Ventures podcast, uh, which you can find on iTunes and Stitcher and Google Play and that stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, anything else you guys want to say? Just the, you know. Nope. Do you ever have a hangover? Just... Just gotta bend over, put your head between your knees, and just let all the blood flow down there for a while. It's the best way to get over or, or Jerry's boiled track. eggs. Or boiled eggs. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. It's a good good place to end it. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jake Friday. Uh, join us next time a little bit sooner uh, because we're playing Monday. So that's like a, a few days. Five Yay. days. Uh, yeah. Thanks for listening or watching. This is episode one, Venture Ventures. Baldur's Gate, Descent into Avernus. Have a fantastic rest of your week.